This video is here to help you carry out short division with remainders. In this example, which of the numbers is the dividend, the number being divided, the divisor, which is the number we're dividing by, and the quotient, the answer to the division calculation? That's right, the dividend goes underneath the line, the divisor goes to the left of the line, and the quotient goes above the line. If the quotient is not a whole number, there'll be some left over. This is called the remainder. We're going to take a look at some division calculations where there's a remainder, how to record the remainder, and how the remainder might be interpreted when solving a problem. Let's start by completing the calculation 2058 divided by four. For this first example, we'll use counters alongside the written method. Because our divisor is four, we'll split the place value chart into four sections, one for each equal group. First, we divide the thousands, as this is the place value column with the highest value. We only have two thousands counters, so we can't divide the counters equally into four groups. Therefore, we need to exchange the two thousands for twenty hundreds. We now have 20 hundreds, so we write a 2 in front of the 0 in the hundreds column. We don't need to put a 0 above the line because we don't have leading zeros at the start of whole numbers. Now we divide the hundreds. We have 20 hundreds. 20 hundreds divided by 4 equals 5 hundreds with none left over. We write a 5 in the hundreds column above the line. Next, we divide the tens. 5 tens divided by 4 equals 1 ten with 1 ten left over. Because there is 1 ten in each group, we write a 1 in the tens column above the line. We then need to exchange the remaining 10 into 10 ones. We now have 18 ones, so we write a 1 in front of the 8 in the ones column. Finally, we divide the ones. 18 ones divided by 4 equals 4 ones with 2 left over. We write a 4 in the ones column above the line. As we can't divide the final two ones equally into four groups, this is our remainder. We write this using a lowercase r, like this. 2058 divided by 4 equals 514 remainder 2. Now it's your turn. Solve this calculation using the short division method. You can use counters to help if you need to. 2587 divided by 3. Pause here and have a go. You can unpause to see how you should have completed the calculation step by step. Two thousands divided by three is zero thousands with two thousands left over. Exchange the remaining two thousands for twenty hundreds. Twenty five hundreds divided by three is eight hundreds with one hundred left over. Exchange the remaining hundred for ten tens. Eighteen tens divided by three is six tens with none left over. Seven ones divided by three is two ones with one left over. We can't divide one one into three equal groups, so this is the remainder. 2,587 divided by three equals 862 remainder one. Now it's time for a challenge. It's important to know what the remainder represents when solving a division problem. Sometimes the answer must be a whole number. There are 4,327 new tyres. Each car needs four tyres. How many cars can get a full set of new tyres? Pause here to solve the calculation. Don't forget, 
the number will have to be a whole number. The answer to the calculation was 1081 remainder 3. You can't have remainder 3 cars. So the answer is 1081. The 3 represents 3 tyres that are left over. I hope this has helped you to understand how to write and interpret remainders when using short division. If you found this video helpful, then take a look at the Twinkle website where we have lots more maths help videos just like this one.